Hi, welcome back to the Andy Frost Vocal Percussion Garage Sessions. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at a cymbal stack sound. It's been a really good challenge this one. It's a cymbal that I've always loved as a drummer uh, and I thought a bit of visual aid today would be useful. So here is a cymbal stack. Literally means a cymbal with another one stacked on the top. Uh, the one on the top is actually a China boy and around the ends of the symbol they're basically turned up a little bit. It's been manufactured in a way that it's turned up. It gives it a very different sound. It gives it a trashier sound. It's not a pure sound. So yeah, symbol, normal symbol on the bottom, one on the top. This is a, a, an evolution um, Sabian symbol. If I hit it for you, you'll get an idea of what it sounds like. Now, if there is anyone out there who's not uh, a child watching this, you might remember those old bins that we used to have that were made out of metal. You'd go down and touch the lid, lift the lid up, put your rubbish in, bang, as it comes down, it would sound not that dissimilar to that, okay? In music, though, this thing really does cut. So anyway, enough of that. So as a beatboxer, we're trying to create that sound. So. Anything that's going to really sit across um, a groove when we're performing, I find the way to do it is by using a lot more of your air passing through your teeth. It's literally the way that I've found this works really, really well. So we've got, just to start with, we've got a D, D, just say D, 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 to get the shape of what the tongue is doing. Now you relax the tongue on the, on the palate, just the base of the mouth, <laughs> and you just literally shut your teeth and you go, You've got D, 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 and now we're just pushing a little bit of air through the teeth. If we do that alternately, D and then silence the D, okay? Teeth shut, let's go D, 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 D. So you're getting ready, your intention is to say the letter D, but you keep it silent. And you get that sound discovered that, of course, if you smile a bit more, smile a bit less, you get, you're allowing less or more air to come through. So you've got. Okay, so that's where it's come from, really, and it's a fun one to do. Um, have a play, have a try with that one. It sounds great if you're in the kitchen or the bathroom anywhere with lots of reverberation, uh, you, you'll get a nice uh, trashy, trashy sound. So I'll de demonstrate, I'll put that in the middle, in where the hi-hat normally goes, we'll put the, uh, the, the, the cymbal stack sound, okay? So keeping it not too fast, I'll count myself in and then have a, have a little listen. One, two, three. Now, of course, they don't always have to be this size, they can be smaller. So again, reduce the smile a little bit. And it makes it a little bit quicker. Great, hopefully that will make sense. Hopefully by seeing the symbol um, gives you a bit more an idea of where it's coming from for me. Um, have a play, come up with some sounds, keep comments coming in if you're practicing some of these things. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and there'll be lots of silly videos a bit like this one coming out over the next few weeks. Stay safe and I will see you on the next one.